Back. I'm still here. Yeah, yeah. Gasol's back. Back again. Wooly's back. Bom, bom, bom. Tell a friend. Bom, bom, bom. Gasol's back. Gasol's back. Gasol's back. Gasol's back. Bom, bom, bom. Was that awful or really awful? Tell us in the comments. Awful. Right there on a scale from <laughs> from awful to. I want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Throw myself off the balcony. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, he's Ooh. so sad. Ooh, I see some thighs there. Ooh, Sexy. showing a little bit of butt Sexy. cheek there. Just a little bit of side butt. Mm, a little bit of side butt. butt. Side butt. Butt cleavage. Mm. You remember like when they would show butt uh, in no. butts in cartoons? Do you know they can't show butts in cartoons anymore? Anymore? Did they show butts in cartoons? Yeah, don't you remember Cow and Chicken? There was a recurring uh, character that you would just see his ass that's constantly. That's so true. Oh, Ren and Stimpy was like Oh that my too. god, you would see so many asses uh, in cartoons sorry. in the 90s. Oh, it's Giovanna Suter. Ooh, these are pimps! I've seen you talking to Giovanna too. Of, of course, course you fool, you were right by my side. <laughs> Shut, Shut up. up. You just said you were not in speaking terms. Guys, listen, I gotta go. <laughs> I don't care if you're you that bitch. You out. were trying to steal Giovanna from me. As if Giovanna would give you the time of day. Uh, you guys sort it out, out yourselves. No, wait, wait. What are you gonna tell her? No, wait. Was she telling you? That's irrelevant, you fool. That fool is you. You relf. A relf. should fight each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's not interested in you. She's not she's that just, interested. <laughs> she's just not that into you guys. <laughs> she read that book and she realized it. She's like, she, she told me, guys, she fucking hates you too. Are you Fred and are you dead? She can't leave me. I'm her pimp. I'm gonna beat the shit out of that bitch. Beach. Oh my god, we were eating. Okay, I don't know if JD noticed where we went. So there's a snarf, this place called Snarf Sandwiches. It's in, I don't want to say shady area because it's not that shady, but there's some characters walking around. Um, and there was a woman there that I felt could have been a prostitute. Do you know who I was talking about? The one that <laughs> walked in to get water from the place. Walked in to get water. Yeah. Oh, the one that was waiting for us to get Clovis out her way? Yeah. She was like, excuse me, excuse me. I'm like, just go around She's... the dog, right? <laughs> Yeah, he wasn't even really in the way. But yeah. I don't know. I guess it could be intimidating, whatever. There's like, I don't know. Clovis kind of looks like a pit bull, so I try to be like, oh, okay, maybe people get yeah, a little intimidated or whatever. I guess. But she was acting kind of strange and talking weird to that guy. I, I'm sure it was she wasn't, but it would be well, funny Well, I just she thought was. she was maybe drinking a bit she was definitely her voice not kind of slurred there. <laughs> yeah she's kind of like slurring a little there's bit. a lot of people those shady-ish people that kind of hang out by that 7-eleven there yeah there's a 7-eleven in the other corner so it's like eh. people go there get cigarettes and stuff and beer yeah, and, and they hang out or whatever i know we do well i feel bad because you know we see some of these people that are clearly like homeless and on meth or something yeah and it's like, I wish there's like some way you could be like, okay, dude, I'm gonna help you get your life together. Right. Well, they're trying to do some here. Yeah. They're trying. They're really trying. Yeah, I think Denver is really doing like yeah, they're whatever. Trying they, to they, they're other trying to. Like Miami. Yeah, but the, I was I was reading an article or something that says the best thing for homelessness to stop it is you got to stop it before people end up on the streets. It's like, you, yeah, gotta you gotta keep yeah, people gotta in their homes, because they say when when people are already on the streets, it's too late. You gotta get oh, in God, before. Yeah. Yeah. But <clears throat> I feel like maybe that could have been a prostitute there. If it, it is, is, that would have been pretty cool. <laughs> and that guy might have been her pimp for all we know. Yeah. Well, it's none of our business. <laughs> we're just minding our business, eating yeah. our sandwiches. Shit. I was just eating my French dip, which oh, was delicious, you. by the way. Fuck. If you guys are in the Denver area, you should go to Snarf Sandwiches and get a French dip. It's God pretty good. Damn it. But Snarf Burgers is definitely better than Snarf Sandwiches. I mean, <laughs> I'm in the Burgers camp. You're in a Burgers camp? I'm burgers camp. I'm open minded, man. So I'm cool with anything. JD's got an open mind. Yeah, you I'm can tell her anything, and her mind is open. <laughs> <laughs> 
you tell me anything and then it goes one into one ear throughout the other because yeah. I might not care about it too much. <laughs> like, what'd you say? Oh my god, do you ever have when someone's talking to you and they just finished talking and you have no idea what they just said? <laughs> You're like, I was just totally not listening there. I uh, heard a lot of I've done that to JD. Don't tell her. <laughs> Too many times. <laughs> Too many times. She's Too like, no, times. I know. I, I've been there when you've done that to me. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> She's like, are you listening? Guilty. That's when I just respond, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. yeah, uh-huh. Oh, my God. Or it's like when you don't, when you don't understand what I've someone said or that you didn't hear them. Okay, here's... How many times do you ask someone to repeat something before you're like, fuck it, I'm just saying yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even care what you said. Just like, once. I feel like you can ask someone to repeat something more than once. Oh, the alpha heroes are here. Have you ever I had someone sorry. been to ask someone like, what'd you say? And they just repeated it as quietly as they said it before. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, that doesn't help me. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was expecting you to great. say it a little louder. <laughs> that's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah. Oh, wait, I'm waiting for you. I lost Sorry. you. I lost I'm you. I'm trying to move. <laughs> it's like, oh, so what did you think of that sporting game yesterday? And they're like, oh, the well, uh, dog. Uh, uh, and you're like, well, excuse me? <gasps> Platy Pets! Let's get it. Oh my god, this one's my favorite. He's so adorable. Oh my god, he's a level 10 too. They're strong as shit. Oh, oh my I god, dude. They're strong as eyes. mierda. Look at his big eyes. Oh, you just kicked him in the face. Ooh, Ooh he tail slapped you. He is feisty. Oh, I feel like Scale is good at fighting absolutely no Temtem. Everything he does is weak against every Temtem. <laughs> Alright, what else do we have here? Alright, go for a Death Leopard. I feel like we can't change out our Temtem until we go to a Temtem Center. I want to change it out. I want my platypus. You have one? I want one. I don't have one of these platypus. Neither one of us has one, but we're going to catch him here. Uh, we're going to catch him. But they're, they're, so, friends. they're so hard. They're so hard? That's because they're excited. <laughs> they're hard. <laughs> You're like, is that a roll of quarters in your pocket, or are you just fucking hard? Um, it's oh your tail. <laughs> have, you, have you ever seen a guy's, like, unintentional boner? What? Like, uh, okay, I'm gonna try to catch him. I'm catching the top one, the the female one. You can catch the bottom. Okay, yeah, that's. Uh, that's like funny. you know how like sometimes like, I don't know, whatever. You know, guys will just get boners by accident and stand up and try to hide him or whatever. Have you ever saw seen a guy's boner? No. Like I, out in I, public I in class yeah, in school. No, I don't. I've never seen that. one either. No. I've had it happen to me where I was, well, this was like way when I was like a kid in school, where I was like, ooh, they better not ask me to stand up because I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's something in girls school? do not have to deal oh with, right? Because when you're, okay, when you're that age, and you're like 12, 13, no, okay, type your sure. name, type your name while I'm talking. You could call him Boner if you want. <laughs> is Boner not allowed? I know, allowed? I know, I'm trying to Okay, your, yours is a guy, so you have to call him Boner. Okay, Boner. I was thinking that. <laughs> Not invalid words. How about bone ear? Like boner? Bonero. You gotta change the E to something else. Like maybe bone. <laughs> bone euro. Bonero. <laughs> bonero. That's funny. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I was gonna say that's definitely. I feel like it's happened to every guy when they were like teenagers. So no, if you're sure. younger and this happened to you, like you know, don't worry about it. It's, it happens to everyone. No, for sure. It's like well, us women, we have problems with like snail trailing, you know? Yeah, snail trailing. Yeah, like if we're wearing a skirt, that happens. Okay, I'm gonna call him snail trails. He's gonna go let me <laughs> snail trail. Oh <gasps> it works. Snail trail! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, snail trail. That is so crazy. Uh, but yeah, it's like one of those things, because you would... It's like when you're going through puberty, it just fucking happens. Nothing... Uh, and it's not even... <clears throat> I feel like sometimes in movies and TV shows, they're like, Oh, well, it's like you see a person bend... A woman bend down or something. Like, I swear, it's not even that. It's just randomly, you're not even thinking about sex, it just pops. Really? Because your body is just going just, through that. It's like just, all these uh, hormones are flying around. What's going on? 
Oh, you know, another platy patty. Such cuties. But yeah, it, it happens to everyone, so don't worry about it. It happens to you. But the worst is like if you have to stand. Well, first of all, teachers should never ask teenagers to stand. I feel like they shouldn't be stand up in a dress to class. They should know, right? The yeah, teacher should know alone, better. Damn. You should know better than, and just be like, okay, you stay seated. Okay, just stay, stay seated. It's alright, stay. It's alright, stay. It's like I know I'm dealing with teenagers. Ah, oh, I feel like. Do you ever feel like there was like teachers when you were younger that were just so out of touch? Yeah, they were so lame. Oh my god, teachers were the worst. They did. They, there were quite a few. Did you have a lot of older that women that teach like you? Clueless like, about things. Did you ever have like older women teach you in the like seventies or something or sixties? Um, they yeah, were yeah, like so. the worst at being completely out of touch with like, re with like what kids are going through and because it's just been so long since they've been kids, right? So they have no. Yeah, idea. they're like clueless. Yeah, they have like You're no like, idea what's, what's going on or whatever. Oh my god. Oh, you, you don't look so hot. No, Crystal's you like dying. So no, what am I doing? Oh no, I hit the wrong button. What? Crystal, don't what? die. Oh. What happened? I what? hit the wrong button. What? Ooh. Platy pit. I hit get some rest instead of a bomb. Uh, well, I feel like now we could just kill them, right? They're, they're almost dead. They're, 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 dead. Almost they're dead. dead. You're dead. Oh, he did like a little smiley thing. Now I feel bad killing him. Oh, oops, bye. Oh, you dead. <laughs> you dead. dead. Oh you my dead. god. Too. Bye. Oh, oh, he was making man. noises there. <gasps> I got held anger now. Ooh, Ooh I got something. I'm gonna get... What's the most? What's the most you've ever like held your anger where you just needed to explode afterwards? Was there ever like a time where you were just like, when this person leaves? I am gonna break something. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you? Oh, for sure, man. <laughs> Where it's like, oh my In god, the I, don't library, have, it's I need like to do tough. the Tem Essence vial, I guess. I need more. Alright, well, let me just swap out my Tem Tem. Do I have more people I can push up? Yeah. Man. Yeah, like you have those times when you're just like, <gasps> have you ever, like, th just broke something because you were so pissed? Oh, like, for sure. Ooh, let's hear the story. What'd you break? What I you break? break? What did you, you throw? Uh, did you ever throw like a plate God. on the ground or something, or a plate? No, uh, I don't think I broke a plate. Knock something off a table. No, I think I actually broke one of my laptops. Oh, you? Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> that <got> sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that that's like a break yeah, you I regret later. Smacking like the the keyboard. The keyboard. Oh and my it was God. like not really functioning Ooh, that well afterwards. Okay. Okay, okay, so I remember I played a game. Oh, what are we finding here? Another, oh my god, we're finding so many. We didn't see any, now we're seeing so many. You're like, live there in that area. Okay, I remember playing a game that would get me pissed. And you know what game would get me really pissed? What's this that? gonna sound weird. What's that, what's that, what's that, what's that? Uh, this was definitely before I met you. This, and I kind of stopped playing it too, because I would... Oh, I gotta take him out. Because you don't want to show your anger in front of me, George? Yeah, because I, I don't know what it was about that game. But it would just get me like riled up. Yeah, and it was NHL for the I think it was the PS3 at the time. <gasps> hockey, hockey game. Yeah. <laughs> and I would get so mad when I started losing. It was like okay, when I went down one goal, I was like, oh okay, I can catch up. When I went down two goals, I would start to get really annoyed. Man. When I went down three goals, oh my god, I was like Seriously? fucking pissed. <laughs> And the worst is like I would play online and I didn't want to drop out, so I would just have to sit there and take it when someone was just destroyed. Take it like that, a man. That is the worst to just have to sit there and keep playing when someone's just so much better at a game than you. Ugh, that was me in Rocket League, man. Oh my god, yeah, and you just like, you just man. and they don't take it easy. They just keep scoring on you because yeah. people are dicks. <laughs> They're like, I'm not gonna take it easy. I feel like because I would play that game against people who were not as good as me. And I would take it easy. I would score right. two goals, and I'm like, okay, they're not that good. So I'd be like, okay, I'm going to take it easy. I'm not going to go crazy. I'll just kind of pass it around a little Pull bit. Pull your punches, George. Yeah, because it's like, I don't want to be a dick. But people online, they they're, just gonna, dicks, they're just going to keep like, murdering you at a game. They don't care. Yeah, uh, yep. They're like, going to do that thing. They're like, 1-0, 2-0, 3-0, 4-0. And you can't stop him from scoring, and it's just getting so frustrating. <laughs> Well, JD got super frustrated with Rocket League. She oh, kind of threw sure, the controller man. and walked away once. I think I mentioned that in another Let's Play. Yeah, fun. yeah, yeah. You did. Thanks a lot. But yeah, that's one that would get me pissed. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what other game. If there was any other game that would really get me pissed. Smash Brothers, a little bit. 
When I would play Super Smash Brothers. I oh, feel yeah. Like I would kind of get pissed at that. <laughs> that's one. a fun game, though, right there. Oh, my God. That's a fun game. Yeah, that's a good one. Um. Yeah, I don't know if there's any other. Man. There's just some ra oh. some games that are very rage inducing. Hang in there. Oh shit! Fuck like I used to, I, like I hear people say that about like a lot of the shooters, like Halo or uh -huh. Battlefield or whatever. But I was never good enough at them to get pissed. Cause I was always just suck so much that I was like, I never. Really... <laughs> Cause when you're just suck at a game, you don't really get pissed. It's like when you start getting good at a game and you're like, oh, that's when you start getting mad when you lose. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh man. <laughs> I always wondered, and I know people could probably answer this question. Like, I guess they do it in Temtem now, but they also do it like um, in Voldemort. What's that? What's that? What's that? In Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. Voldemort game. In, in Voldemort game, they do like tournaments. Uh huh. And I, I, just, I don't understand how it could be. I feel like okay. I, I guess there's rules to the tournament. Maybe that's how it works. Cause I feel like you just get the best Temtem, -tem. you just get, or you get the best Pokemon, which uh, in Pokemon it would be like Mewtwo or something, just get five of those, or six of those and have them all fight. Yeah, like, okay. I don't, I guess you gotta kind of balance it out with different types, but I feel like someone could just figure out the best team and just get that and fight and they would always win or it would just be luck because someone would get like a critical hit or whatever. Like I feel like it doesn't have that same, okay. like where it takes skill. Uh -huh. like, like imagine a Temtem -tem tournament, like I feel like you just get the best Temtem -tem and you win. Right, it doesn't right, take right. skill in the same sense of like, oh, playing Madden takes skill or NHL or whatever. <laughs> or Mortal I see Kombat. What you're okay. Like it's like, oh, it's just it's kinda of the same with Magic the Gathering, right? It's like they would do uh -huh. these big tournaments, but I feel like if right. you just had the best yeah. cards I guess it's getting the right combination of cards. Like knowing which Maybe. ones to get that are good. I don't yeah, know. Someone could like probably explain. I could probably research it and be, oh no, Fern, why'd you uh, die? But I always just think of this as wow. such a single player experience, like like RPGs. Because it's basically like an RPG, right? Yeah, yeah. And I was just thinking that it's such a single player say. thing, like playing Final Fantasy tournaments or something. I was like, oh, I don't know how that would work. Shoot. Um, I probably should have. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's try to get Barnshi out because yeah, he's strong. Yeah, try to get out. Actually, I don't know if it was a guy or a girl. It doesn't tell you it when you're not catching you right him. Now. Yeah, usually yeah, it tells you the little symbol of either the circle with the dick, or the cross with the vagina <laughs> underneath it. <laughs> he's so crazy. Did you know what those symbols are? A little trivia. I think the guy, the male one, is a guy with a dick. Or that's supposed to be a dick with the arrow. Wing that's up. what you think, George. But okay. I think the woman one's supposed to be a hand mirror. Isn't that weird? A what? A hand mirror. A hand mirror? Yeah. I feel okay, like I've heard that so. somewhere. I mean, it could be bullshit. It could be bullshit. It could be bullshit. Uh... It could be bullshit. <laughs> JD's thinking hard here. You only got a minute left, so think, 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 think. think. Uh, are we still fighting? How many battles do you do in this game? A lot. Guess what, guys? A lot. A lot. <laughs> we were first, we were pre-playing this, and J JD's like, oh, "Why do we have to fight so many people?" And I was like, "We're just yeah, getting man. started." Yeah, man. So much fighting. Let's get with the story. The story. the story. I don't think there's much. Well, okay. If you want the story, we gotta start talking to everyone in those towns. No, I don't care. Yeah, about people. but that's where the story comes no. in. You gotta talk to them, and they're like, "Hey, well, welcome to Arisola. Did you know our number one export is bananas? And yams. they're like, our number one export is bananas and yams. And then you're like, oh, that's an interesting thing about Arisola. And then oh, you talk wow, to someone else about do. Arisola, and they're like, did you know that our name backwards is Alisora? And you're like, oh, I didn't know that. Okay, guess what, guys? And with that, we end our episode. Uh, See you in the next bye. one. Bye bye. Thank you for plantains. Bye. You're still here? Well, you might as well subscribe. Okay, you can go now. <laughs>